it's Melissa again. Welcome back to my channel. I'm glad that you guys could join me today. It's um, the end of September, so I have finally compiled enough empties to actually do a video, and so I'm going to do that today. I do want to say that um, and no matter who I watch, it seems like everybody is starting to fight some type of cold or or allergy this time of season so I do if I sound a little weird that's kind of I've been congested I've been battling this since actually the beginning of September so it's been about three weeks but school started back boys ended up getting something the husband ended up getting something and and now of course mom ends up uh, me being the mom of the family ends up getting something but um, so I will maybe take a um, a drink of my tea every now and then if you guys don't mind so um, just wanted to let you know in case you want to know what I'm drinking it's only seasonal but something that is really great is the celestial seasonings this is the sweet harvest pumpkin this is a black tea I absolutely love this tea and I know that I was sick but I, I kind of stock up regardless but uh, it just kind of makes me feel a little better but this tea like I said is only seasonal so if you're interested and you like pumpkin I know everything's pumpkin this time of year uh, you go out it's it's you can find it everywhere but uh, this is a really great tea and so if you're looking for something that's uh, gluten-free this is a great option and it tastes really great I absolutely love it so I uh, just wanted to let you guys know about that um, like I mentioned I'll just move my tea to the side here uh, I do have enough empty so I'm going to show I keep them in a Sephora bag and as I um, I keep it in my bathroom and as I'm um, done with them uh, done with the products then I'll put them in this bag and I do have quite a few to go through uh, I'll just give you guys a quick review and let you know whether or not I would order it again or if um, like in this case I already have one in my stockpile uh, this is the nourish organic this is the hand wash it's the lavender mint uh, if you watch any of my past videos you guys know that I order this off of Vitacost uh, I'll put a code below um, for savings if it's your first order of $30 or more you can save $10 I mean that's a great discount um, then after that you just kind of look for the deals on that site but it's it's a really great site and that's um, like I said, if you watch any of my past videos, that's usually where I'll pick things up. But I really like this. It was not a heavenly fragranced lavender. I do love lavender, and I don't mind whether it's mild or heavily scented. But this was a lightly scented, and it was also lightly scented on the mint. And sometimes I found things that if you have a mint scent, it can be overpowering. And this was not one of those. I really like this. It's a very um, thick formula, and it lasted quite a while. Um, Honestly, I'm not sure when I previewed this in my Vitacost haul, but um, if you guys go back and look at the first one, this is one of the first ones I ordered from that, and it's lasted quite a while, so I would definitely repurchase this. I think I already have one in my stockpile if I hadn't mentioned that already, so um, yeah, I would get that again. Um, the other item that I have is, and this is a different lid than it comes, it just has a regular um, squirt pump, and I'll remove this before it goes in the recycle bin. Uh, but this is the Desert Essence. This is the Coconut Hair Defrizzer and Heat Protectant. Um, I really like this um, as far as being on my hair. The only issue that I have with this is when you spray it, I literally have to hold my breath or it's almost like it kind of, um, it not burns, but there is definitely a fragrance that will make me want to cough. I mean, even before I had a cold, uh, this affected me that way. And, and like I said, this is completely empty now. But um, I really like this. I just wish it did not have that effect. And I don't know whether it's the alcohol. I'm not even sure if it has alcohol in here, honestly. Um, I'm looking. Uh, the first ingredients are water and glycerin, uh, coconut oil. Um, I'm not sure what is in this that makes me have that, uh, that cough factor when it's sprayed, but there's definitely something there. But um, I really like the way it performed with my hair, but I don't think I'll buy this just because of that um, side effect that I'm not crazy about. So, um, I have finished a Desert Essence. This is the Natural Tea Tree Oil Toothpaste. This is uh, the mint. Uh, you guys, if you watch my Vitacost hauls, you know that I already have those in my stockpile. Really like that flavor. I will be repurchasing that again. Um, and there are four of us in this household, so I've actually... Um, uh, used another one in the mint again that's we go through these quite often there are four of us so it's kind of funny because it seems like when one runs out the other runs out um, uh, I have finished up the uh, Andalou Naturals this is the pumpkin honey 
a glycolic mask. This was just a sample that I got in a kit um, that had uh, several different products that I wanted to try. Uh, if you watch my past Vitacost haul, you guys know that I've already, already ordered this in a full size. I really like this. Um, this mask is um, really great for removing um, that uh, flakiness that you would get when um, you get like the dry patches. I usually get that around my chin area. Uh, my T-zone is really oily. I have very combination skin, so it's all over the place. But um, this really works for the dry patches that I get around uh, my mouth and my chin. So I really like this product. And as you know, I already have that again. Um, just some things that have become old and I needed to uh, toss. These were not classified as gluten-free, but I picked these up uh, when I first went gluten-free when I was just looking for ingredients. Um, and didn't see anything that was an issue, but they're just past due for um, throwing out. This is the CoverGirl, um, the Professional All-in-One Mascara. This was the waterproof. I did like this, but you guys know I wanted to go for a gluten-free option just for a healthier, safer uh, reason, so I will not be repurchasing that. Uh, the other product I have is by Maybelline. I believe this is a Maybelline product. Uh, yes, it is. Maybelline, the Big Eyes Waterproof. This had the um, upper and lower lash um, wands. It had the smaller one for, um, I don't know if you guys can see that, the smaller one for the bottom lashes and the larger for the top lashes. Um, it was okay, not my favorite, but again, just past the expiration. Um, it's, it's way past three months, probably more like six, but I don't wear makeup every day, so I figure I can stretch that out. Um, the other one that I have, and you guys, I know I featured this in a past video of uh, Face of the Day, but this is uh, the Maybelline The Great Lash. This is the original. I will probably repurchase this again. Um, maybe. I'm, I'm not sure. Like I said, I want to stick with more gluten-free, the healthier options. And I really like that. Um, I think it was Echo Bella that I just purchased off of uh, Vitacost. I really like that formula. I'm actually wearing that today. I'll go through that in my Face of the Day. Um, but, yeah, I would kind of... Um, I'll hold off on repurchasing this. Something that I've had that's been really old and I just need to let go. Uh, I don't know if there were any gluten options in this. I don't think so because I kind of went through, but uh, this was just a philosophy. This was a very old, supernatural. It was the mineral blue, mineral blush duo in the pink and the bronze, uh, just the double-sided version. I didn't really use this. The bronzer was too orange. I used the blush just because it was um, more of a PG tone, but uh, not gluten-free. think I need to let it go. It's been a while. Uh, I have a Tamanu and Licorice. This is the Shea Terre Organics Clarifying Face Wash. This was for acne, ac antibacterial, and oily skin. It's 100% natural. Uh, I picked this up um, quite a while ago. I've completely used this. I love Tamanu oil. At the same time that I bought this, I bought the Pure Tamanu oil. That product is amazing. I mean, Tamanu oil, like the Argon oil, seems to work for everything. I actually like the Tamanu oil a little better just because it has the anti-aging properties and it was antibacterial. Sometimes Argon oil, um, if I am experiencing in the summer, that oily T-zone does not work for me. Tamanu oil so far I've been able to use every season, all the time, not an issue. Antibacterial, acne, uh, fighting properties, so it's been really great. It also works for burns, mosquito bites, um, pretty much anything, so I really like that. Um, I'm not sure if I will uh, repurchase this again, the um, Tamanu and Licorice um, Clarifying Soap, but I'll, I'll have to think about it. It was a really great product, so I may. I'm not sure. I just have other things that are kind of um, in my pan well, I say pantry, but in my bathroom cabinet that I kind of need to finish now, so... Um, Speaking of the Argon Oil, I have finished up the Josie Marin, the 100% um, Argon Oil. I got this at uh, Sephora. Um, this is just the, I believe this was the deluxe size. And whenever those are available, I pick them up. So will I buy it? No. But if it's um, a uh, deluxe sample offer for like points, perks, or whatnot, I would pick it up. So I do like this. Uh, it just does not work in the summer um, months, like I said. So um, one more item and you guys know I've done a review on this uh, the Schmitz uh, deodorant this is the fragrant free version absolutely love this deodorant um, I will say this is a baking um, soda um, based 
deodorants. So um, normally I tried other baking soda based deodorants and I've had a skin reaction. This one I have not had a reaction to, which I'm very happy of. This is the only gluten free uh, deodorant, um, the only natural de deodorant that I have found that's worked. You guys know I um, mentioned that in my past video. So I, yeah, I, you guys already know I picked up the full size. Um, version. Um, I think it was like a five pack. So yeah, this is stockpiled in my cabinet. Will not do without this. This is excellent. So I'll just go with uh, just a basic quick face of the day what I'm wearing. Um, I've mentioned this in past videos. This is the Cover Effects, the BB gel. I'm in light in this. This is my foundation that I'm wearing. Love this stuff. It is mattifying anti-blemish treatment. Uh, I, I love this. This is absolutely an amazing product. I would highly recommend that. Um, the powder foundation that I'm wearing, this is the um, Tarte. This is um, Fair O2 as a color. Uh, this is called the Pressed Mineral Powder with SPF 8. I picked this up way back when. I just started using it, so it is a new product. Or it's, it's older, but it's new. I have not opened it before. But this is when Tarte still was going gluten-free. They were gluten-free, dye-free, paraben-free, when they were actually labor, labeling their products gluten-free. Now, they've since lost, or they say that they're not formulated with gluten ingredients, but this is when they label things gluten-free. So I will still continue to use products like this, but I will not be purchasing um, newer Tarte items, just so you guys know. And with that being said, I know that their blushes are gluten-free. This is the... Um, Achi Ode, I believe, is it's A C H I O T E, and I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that, but this is a great color. It's like a terracotta peach. I'm wearing this today, and I really like this. This is one that does not have any glitter or sheen in it. It's just a flat matte color. Love this color. Um, for the mascara, you guys know, um, and this is what I was mentioning, the Echo Bell of the the flower color, this was in the black. This is what I picked up in my last uh, Beauty Vitacost haul. Really it's, like it's not this a mascara. plastic brush. It is a, um, a, a bristled brush, and I really like the way this, this performs. Curled my lashes. So far, I have not had any. Sometimes uh, the waxes in different mascaras will make my eyelashes heavy, and they'll end up drooping. I used to not have that issue. Um, as I get older, my eyelashes don't curl as much. This is a really great one. Holds a curl. Fabulous. Um, and again, since I don't usually wear a lot of uh, makeup, I'll have a BB or a CC cream on. Um, what I'm using on my eyes is simply, um, this is the uh, middle one that I'm using, and that's incandescent light, and then the uh, darker, yeah, the darker color that's over here that's radiant light is in the crease. Um, I use this color on um, pretty much the whole eye uh, for looks. So, um, then uh, the color that I'm wearing, I actually didn't bring that, but the color that I'm wearing on my lips is Bite Beauty. You guys know that I love the La Creme lipsticks, and also I did pick up a couple of the um, matte crayons that have come out in the fall collection. I will be featuring those. Um, I had a Sephora. Um, well, I did a little bit of Sephora shopping, so I'll have a Sephora haul coming up, but um, the color that I'm wearing on my lips is one that I uh, mentioned in a past video is Sin Sin, uh, C-I-N, C-I-N, and I absolutely love that. So um, I hope everyone's having a great day. If anyone is suffering from colds, I hope you feel better soon and are doing well. And if you haven't had a cold, I hope you stay well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.